Okay, this is the new procedure that we're going to be following from now on any new jobs. So what we're going to do first is you're going to create just like normal your new GPS file. You're going to name it the job number, what you're doing, your initials, the date, and what equipment are you using. In this case will be GPS. So you shoot all your control and you shoot all your TPMs and your IMs three minutes over what excuse me one minute three times one minute three times once you do that you're gonna export that information into the file like if you were to send it to the office okay so now you're gonna you're gonna run your level loop around your control points uh, and your TBMs on the job site make sure you close good 300 max make sure you double check all your math you can either assume coordinates or you can figure it out the elevation based on the monuments that you shot. If we're shooting three monuments, make sure that at least two monuments are matching, meaning that the, the difference between the two monuments is about the same as the GPS as the as the as the elevation on the on the sheets. Once you do that, and you can figure out the difference between the GPS and the sheets, and then do the add or subtract the difference to the GPS when you shoot a monument, like a control point in the job site. You'll be able to to figure it out. But please ask me questions if you have any any um, any doubts or anything. Just give me a call, and I'll help you th with that. So. In this case, we have control point 10101 and control point 10102. So in this example of the notes, this is what kind of what it looks like. You have your job site here. You have your control, your TBMs, control points all around the job site. You're gonna shoot them with GPS and your notes are gonna be kind of like this. Of course, you're gonna, when you do your GPS, you're gonna make sure that you are in Texas South Central, if that's where you are, you're going to be using Geo at 18. When you create the GPS job, make sure that you have the right template, which will put you on. Um, it will put you on scale fact as uh, Texas South Central and grid coordinates. Once you shoot them, you're going to have your notes here, and then we're going to start your, your total station file. And the total station file should be on um, Texas scale factor 1.00 and it's going to be crown instead of grid. Also, by provided by the office, you're going to be able to have this information, which is what county you're in and what scale factor for that county. In this case, is Harris County scale factor is 1.00013. One so after you have the information, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put your notes together. I'll show you how. And you're gonna do an inverse when and your on your GPS file. If let's say you are setting up on ten thousand one oh two by setting ten thousand one oh one, if that's your plan of attack and then do a traverse all around to ten thousand one oh three, ten thousand one oh four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the numbers once we transfer the once we import the GPS file. And this is how we're going to do it. Again, you do an inverse first. You're going to write down the azimuth, meaning the direction from 10,102 to 10,101. Once you have that, we're going to convert the coordinates to, to, um, to ground. So very simple. You're going to import the coordinates from the GPS and then we're going to go to Kogo, Transformations, Scale. Make sure that you have only scale selected. A lot of times these things are, are going to be selected like that. So make sure you use only scale and you're going to enter that scale factor provided by the office right here. One point three zeros one three 
now this origin point is very important so what you're going to have to do is probably key in the, the new point right here so you can call it in this case i'm going to call it one the code don't matter i can call it origin and then the northern is zero easting zero elevation zero that's fine you're gonna hit store it's gonna ask you the points along distance yes it's very very far so you're gonna hit yes so once you have that you have point number one the scale factor provided by the office you're gonna hit next then here you're gonna add all points in this case you only have a few but normally you will have all the control points all TVMs, RMs and everything so you're gonna hit accept apply the defined transformation yes so one thing that you're gonna notice is that the points are already gone from here because they have moved to where they need to go so you're gonna hit zoom to the whole job you have the origin point and you have the other two points I like to delete the origin point afterwards because otherwise you have this big gap of points so I'm gonna go to my to my job data point manager and I have the origin I can delete it now hit details delete exit that's deleted you hit your zoom to site again and you have these two points again and they are on surface now so first thing you're going to do is this you're going to go back to your job data point manager you're going to select again we're in this scenario you're setting up you're setting up on 102 back setting 101 so we're going to go here, edit points, go to point name, 102, because you're using the total station, hit accept. And right here, you can also edit the point now for the elevation, the elevation that you get from the GPS, I mean from the level loop. So we're going to do this, hit escape. So now you have the inverse you get the direction from 102 to 101 so you we're going to create 101 next so i'm going to go to Kogo, compute this a compute point you're going to call it point number 101 it's probably a cpx I'm sorry, but I'm I have this on a on a little stand, so it's hard for me to see the screen sometimes. So you're gonna hit bearing and distance. The start point is gonna be 102. Grid is gonna be zero. The atmos again, we did that inverse earlier from the grip grip uh, grip file. The atmos is 264 point oh one fifty two and that's how you're gonna write it two hundred and sixty four degrees one minute fifty two seconds but you had to put on that format and basically that means that it's almost looking west which makes sense on the drawing that the job drawing of the jobs are right here 102 101 north so so next you're gonna go over here it computed the azimuth right there very good and now you're gonna set up your gun and you're gonna write take a shot you don't have anything right now so you're gonna take a shot with a standard and standard um, measurement make sure you put the right prism in there for your backside and you're gonna write down the horizontal distance the horizontal distance in this case uh, is pretty close to 150.18 so I'm gonna use that 150.18 okay and we're gonna hit enter and it's gonna create 101 
store as grid yep then you're gonna go to job data point manager now you have 101 and 102 okay and here you can go into 101 edit coordinates and here you can change the the elevations of 101 the ones that you have for your level loop once you adjust that then from here on out is your normal style setup you're gonna go here and go to measure set up on your total station 1.00 and you're gonna hit station setup make sure you enter your information instrument on 102 instrument height let's say 5 101 let's say it's 466 again check you had your prison and then you're gonna take a shot so from here on out once you set up all your your instrument you can go ahead and just do as normal and just shoot your backside write all the information and the 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 basically what we did is we used the the GPS orientation from 10,102 to 10,101 for the gun to have the same orientation as the the stake, stake, uh, Texas stake plane and we use the total station uh, distance to have the good uh, total station uh, horizontal distance so we're right on surface the whole way uh, the job is orientated we have surface and then you're, you're good to go then at the you, you know you can do your shoot your boundary do everything you need to do do your traverse which will be in another video and then at the end of the day you send both files the ts and the gps and um and that's it um if you have any questions let me know i will be updating these videos as as more information comes in and uh, we update our procedures but this is an initial setup again take a look see uh figure it out if you have questions give me a call Thank you.